Now let's uh, create an animation rig asset that will have the capture rig inside it. So let's select these three nodes. And we're going to again create a digital asset. So asset, create new digital asset from selection. We're going to call this the uh, fur underscore dude animation anim rig. And we can capitalize some of that on the label. And capital R. The next is we want to uh, select the existing digital asset to place this into. So both the animation and the capture rig are going to be in the same asset. I'll accept that. Now, in this case here, uh, let's just give that the name for dude animation rig up at the top here. Um, this is at the geometry level. Now we can move this rig over, and we're going to use this to start to build up all the controls. Now let's alt drag this over, because while we're building up the controls, we want to be able to test them. So we're going to create a second rig called the test rig, and we're going to move that off to the side. Now what's going to be unique about that is that that one will be locked. And this is very important when we're working through a rig, because things that are locked can't be manipulated and things that have been properly promoted can. So we're going to lock this version of the asset and just say save changes. So can't touch anything inside, can't touch anything outside until things have been properly promoted. Now when we're working on the other one, the, the fur dude rig, um, so here we are in the test rig again. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a quick mark of one. And that's um, you press control one to create that there. And then we're going to go into this rig and we're going to press um, down here and quick mark two. So this will allow us to, to just press one to jump to here and um, two to jump back into there where we're doing all the work. So that's just a, a, a convenience that we can work with. So right now nothing has been promoted to this to our digital asset. Um, so none of those controls are available on the test asset. And if we go and we say save asset to that, you'll see the other one follows suit. So there is a we're both both of these versions of the asset are being pulled from disk. Um, although in the one case it's locked and being pulled to disk, when we, with this unlocked version that we have on the other side, uh, we can manipulate and make changes to it, and then we just have to save them to push them to the other side. So again, Quick Mark 2 gets us into that one. Quick Mark 1 gets to the other one. So Now, we're going to edit the properties of this asset, and we're going to go here to the... Um, the default state where we can set up kinefix underscore two underscores uh, rig pose. And what this will allow is the rig pose to become part of the UI um, of that asset. And we save that. And now um, we go back to the test rig and if we get the handle tool here we can see all the joints. So they're visible but since the parameters haven't been promoted, uh, we can't work with them yet.